You do track them down. Oh, sure. You learned time. Russian to kind of go track some of these all people the time. down. All the time. And what do you do? Try to get them to talk to me about what they do and why they do it and, you know, whether they're you know, happy in what they do. Do they have a day job, you know, that kind of stuff. Is there a profile? There is, absolutely. It's usually higher education, uh, college level educated, uh, sometimes advanced degrees, uh, people in their mid-20s. Most of them have a day job and they're supplementing their hmm. income by programming for hire. All over the world? All over the world. Principally, though, in Eastern Europe and Russia. That's why you learned Russian. Конечно. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the new illicit thing that's being traded? Sure. Yeah. Are you the Are you the new target of Ocean's Eleven? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. You'd need at least a dozen guys doing a combination of kinds. One guy in in Crimea who's really good at uh, you know uh, writing malware, and then you have another guy that's really good at breaking into websites, and they sort of gather a bunch of people with different specialties and, you know, go after it that way. And they don't have to meet in a darkened hotel room. They can meet in front of their keyboard. Absolutely. And, and a lot of these guys are, are working together but never really even meeting face to face. So they might get hired to do a very specific job mm -hmm. uh, and they might, uh, they might, a freelance board, and they respond to an ad and says, hey, I need somebody to write this module for a program we're working on. They don't really tell them what the program is supposed to do. They don't tell it's supposed to, you know, infect a cash register. Hey, we just need you to write this specific right. module. You know, we'll say, yeah, I wrote that, but I didn't know what I was writing. I mean, you know, or if they do know, a lot of times it's, oh, it's just, well, it's just software. I mean, software itself isn't evil. It's not bad or good. Do hackers <laughs> like to tweet? Do hackers tweet? Absolutely, they do. Um, many of them have multiple Twitter accounts. Are they boastful? It's a good question. You know, a lot of people do think that this is, we're past that time, you know, where, where you know, you hear a lot of, of folks say, you know, it's no longer about the notoriety, it's no longer about the fame, it's about the money. Well, that's kind of a truism, but I found that a lot of the guys, even the really good ones, they tend to have tremendous egos. Most of these guys didn't get into cybercrime on purpose. They kind of fell into it, you know. It, kind of gradually got into it. And meanwhile, they have this other life that they, they're trying to keep separate. 